Let's make our kids some healthy snacks. Gummy bears are one of kids' favorite snacks, and some adults too, like myself, and probably you, especially when it's loaded with nutrition. So typically, gummy bears, when you buy them at the store, are just loaded with artificial colors and flavors and, you know, artificial sweeteners and whatnot, okay? And a boatload of sugar. But what I'm gonna be doing today is making these in as healthy as possible. The first way, we're gonna be using fresh fruit. Specifically, I'm using frozen blueberries. And you know those are loaded with antioxidants and you're getting all that nutrition in this little treat. All we're gonna be adding to these are honey and some grass-fed gelatin, which provides us with a lot of protein in it per snack. And gelatin is really good for your bones and your joints and your skin. The second way we're gonna be making these is with real fruit juice, 100%. And again, we're just gonna add those other two ingredients and it's very simple. And these look more traditional because the gummy bear itself will look more clear, kind of like a traditional one, right? But whereas the other one has, is more cloudy. Well, I'll call it cloudy or less transparent. These are both simple and easy to make. It's very fast and you're going to love them. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after my chef joke. What did the panda pack in her suitcase? The bare necessities. Okay, we're going to start off by making our whole fruit gummy first and I'm going to use two cups here of frozen blueberries. Now we need to defrost these so that we can mix them in the blender. So I'm going to place this in the microwave and I defrosted them on the defrost mode. Once these are defrosted, you'll notice there's quite a bit of liquid and we're going to pour that into our blender. I'll pop a lid on this and then we'll blend away until it's completely liquefied. I'll pour this into a saucepan and it should be a good two cups of berries. We'll add some honey, and we're gonna add about a tablespoon to start, but you're probably gonna use two tablespoons worth. It just depends on how sweet your berries are. Turn your heat on to low and give that a nice stir just to get everything mixed in. Now while that's warming up, we're going to use a thickener, which is our beef gelatin here. And no, this does not make our gummy bears taste like beef just in case you were wondering. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Next, we're gonna add just enough water to get this nice and moist, you know, so you can mix it all up. It's, it's somewhere around a half a cup, but just add, you know, enough so that you can get it all moistened. And then let this sit for two minutes to bloom. Then we're gonna pop this in the microwave so that it liquefies and we're gonna put it on high heat for 10 second increments. And this is what the consistency should look like. I'll pour this into the nice hot berries. Give it a good stir until it's all combined. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, let me know by smashing the like button. To make professional looking gummy bears, you're gonna to wanna to buy yourself a mold like I have here. These worked really great for me. And I'll leave a link for you in the description of this video if you want to pick some up. These molds are very flexible. They're very bendable. So if you were to fill it with your gummy mixture, you might spill. So I recommend placing them on. I have a cutting board here, a small one, that I can use to just place it on. And then I can easily carry it to the refrigerator or the freezer without spilling. You could also use a large baking pan here like I have here. And you can get two on there. My molds, I got three of them, uh, came with these little eyedroppers. I got three of these as well. And it works great for putting it into the little mold, or you can use a teaspoon would work too. When you fill these up, ideally you want to bring the liquid level all the way up to the top. And if you don't have a gummy bear mold, fear not. You can still make these by using an ice cube tray. Now granted, they will be rather big and chunky, but they're still tasty. Before using the ice cube tray though, you're going to want to coat the inside of it with some kind of oil. I used coconut oil. Uh, the only disadvantage to this is when it's refrigerated, it tends to solidify and you can see the coconut on the outside of the gummy. So use some kind of oil to help you get these out of the ice cube tray. Back to filling up the tray, I found that just using a spoon and, and dropping it in worked best. Once you fill all your molds, then go ahead and place them either in the refrigerator 
or the freezer. Now, if you do the refrigerator, leave them in there for about 20 minutes and they should firm up. And in the freezer, you only need about 10 minutes. Otherwise, they will freeze. After 20 minutes, these are firm enough to remove from the mold, so they just pop right out. You just push them out and there they are. To remove the gummies from the ice cube tray, just run your knife around the edge and then stick it in there and lift it right up. It should come out because of the coconut oil. These should keep in the refrigerator for a week to 10 days. The gummy bears are chilling in the fridge, so it must be time for chef joke number two. Why did the panda quit his job? Because he was getting bare minimum wage. Now to make this with fruit juice, you want to use 100% fruit juice with this, and you can use any flavor. You can change it up, different colors, whatever you like. We'll add the honey, just like the other recipe, and then we'll place this on the stove and heat it up. Remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description. I'll add the water to the gelatin, just like we did before. Stir it up, let it sit for two minutes to bloom, and then it goes in the microwave on high for 10 second increments. Pour this slowly into the juice and stir it up. And then we'll fill the molds with the dropper like we did before. Place these in the fridge for 20 minutes and then we'll just remove them from the molds and here are our beautiful little gummy bears. These are adorable and you'll feel good about feeding these to your kids. If you're looking for more healthy kids snacks you might want to try my peanut butter and banana graham cracker snacks. My kids loved these when they were little. Click the link on the screen it'll take you right to the recipe and you can try it out. I hope you enjoyed today's gummy bear recipe. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. If you know someone who's trying to eat healthier, share the video with them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.